Hi, I'm Britton Taylor, and you're listening to Verse by Verse. It is said, money makes the world go round. I've heard that saying all my life. How about it takes money to make money? Or money talks? Or money is the root of all evil? Actually, the exact quote from Scripture is, the love of money is the root of all evil. And a quote from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 19. Feasting makes you happy, and wine cheers you up, but you can't have either without money. There are so many quotes and sayings and folklore about money, it seems that everybody has something to say about money. Quite frankly, the Bible has quite a bit to say on this topic. Now, did you know that the Bible contains more than 500 references to prayer and almost 500 references to faith? But there are more than 2,000 references to money and possessions. Out of the 38 parables that Jesus gave in the Gospels, 16 deal with how we handle our money. One of every 10 verses in the Gospels deal with money or possessions. So when you're talking about money, you are talking about a serious subject. I teach a module on finances at our Church's Foundation Institute here in McKinney, Texas. As I begin, I give a little personal background. One of the comments I make is the following. My understanding of tithing and my paying my tithe to God has impacted my financial situation more so than any other single event or practice in my life. And let me add, impacted in a most positive way. I know that God has blessed me for tithing. With so much said about money in the Bible, I want to briefly focus on one basic principle governing a Christian and his money. When you discuss money from a biblical perspective, one must examine the financial laws that God has given. In today's verse by verse, we will look at one of those principles. The Bible calls it the tithe. The word tithe is an old English word that means a tenth. And here's what a tenth is. One tenth of ten dollars is one dollar, or one tenth of one hundred dollars is ten dollars. Let's look at the very first mention of the tithe as recorded in the Bible. So we'll look at Genesis 14 and begin in verse 18. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram, later called Abraham, of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. Verse 20, And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Now, there's quite a bit of history involved in understanding exactly what took place when Abraham gave a tenth or a tithe to the high priest of Salem. Hebrews chapter 7 reiterates this incident and goes on to underscore the role of paying a tithe to God by saying that Abraham gave a tenth part of all the spoils to the high priest of Salem. To summarize this account, Abraham rescued his nephew Lot from the king who had taken him captive. In doing so, Abraham took bounty or spoils from Lot's captors. When Abraham came to Salem, he gave a tenth or a tithe to the high priest of God. Now, there's no detail explaining why he specifically gave 10% as the amount, but it appears that this was his practice and I believe we can extrapolate from this that 10% is the amount which God required as an offering. If you continue to study the biblical topic of tithing, you will see that the amount is 10%. Genesis 28 goes on to say that Abraham's grandson, Jacob, promised to give God a tenth from all the blessings that God would give to him. From the time that I was a boy, it has been my practice to give a tithe to God, and I have been blessed in doing so. The book of Malachi says that if you pay your tithe to God, he will open the storehouse of heaven and shower blessings upon you. Specifically, Malachi chapter 3 says, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse and try me now in this, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing 
that there will not be room enough to receive it. A part of handling our finances or our money is to give a tithe to God. This is the biblical standard that a Christian should follow. When we pay our tithe to God, we proclaim who is sovereign in our lives, and we will be blessed in doing so. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.